Hi guys! Congratulations on your All Access Challenge Pack. I'm so excited that you have chosen to invest in yourself and I'm so excited to come alongside you as you journey towards better fitness and health. I wanted to go through some of the things that come in your Challenge Pack before it comes just so that you know what to expect. Um, first of all, you've got these handy dandy containers. These are a great learning tool in the kitchen, so you're going to want to wash these off and have them ready to go. You also have this blue container, which is helpful for um, if you want to have veggies or fruit on hand in the kitchen, in the fridge, easy, to, easy access, get it washed up and get it ready to go. Um, you also have your Shakeology shaker cup. This is great for having your Shakeology on the go, and of course you have your Shakeology, which I'm really excited for you to try. With your Shakeology, if at first you're like, I don't love the taste of this, I want you to give it at least a week. Sometimes you just have to find that perfect recipe that makes it taste just right for you. Every way that you mix it is going to be different. If you shake it with ice and water, it has one texture, flavor. If you blend it with ice and water, it has another texture. If you add something like half a banana or some peanut butter, um, it adds a completely different flavor. So I want you to give it some time, give it a week, try different recipes, play around, um, and just let me know how it's going. You also have this portion, eating, por portion fix eating plan. And this is going to be important for you to look through. Um, it's great for understanding how these containers work. So you have a page about three pages in called Getting Started, and this is where you're going to want to start. It's going to walk you step by step through in figuring out um, how many containers and what color containers you're going to eat throughout the day. Um, and then it's very handy in listing out um, what what foods go in each of the containers. So you've got what goes in the green, what goes in the purple, um, and so on and so forth. You also have in here some example tally sheets. Now there is a place where you can go to print out more tally sheets, but I would recommend, well, some people like to do the paper and pencil, and if you're that type of person, I will um, guide you in the direction of printing out blank tally sheets. Some people choose, there's an app that you can get on your phone called the 21 Day Fix Official Tracker app. And that is also a very simple way of tracking your containers throughout the day. I've also made a video for you on pre-planning your day using a, um, a meal planning sheet that I've designed that for me helps because that way I know ahead of time what I'm going to be eating throughout the day and it's just easier to stay on track if I have a plan. So I'll be sharing that with you as well. Um, so in this book you have lots of ideas of what goes in the containers. You've also got some recipes in this book which are great. Um, and I want you, I'm going to guide you to page 39 because this is the frequently asked questions um, portion of the book. and. I want you to read through this page. It's one that sometimes gets skipped, but it's good to have this information. Um, and one of them, I mean, you're, you're going to talk about um, how you should be spacing out your meals. Um, personally, I like to eat about every two or three hours. Um, I did find that it was difficult at first because I was used to eating more of a breakfast, lunch, and dinner and eating more frequently took some practice for me. But it is important to do that so that you can keep your metabolism going throughout the day. Um, and then also finding out when it's important to recalculate. Um, you know, you're going to start out and you're going to calculate how many containers you're having throughout the day. But then it's gonna, you're going to need to come back and recalculate at times. Um, and then, oh, there are other um, nutrition guides that come, nutrition programs that come with the specific workouts. And I have found that no matter what workout I'm doing on All Access, I'm just always doing the portion fix because it's simple and I've learned it um, and it's easy to use. But you're, you can feel free to use the nutrition guide that comes with any of the programs as well. Um, and then the last question here is, what if I'm still hungry? This is an important one, especially in, if you're in a lower calorie bracket. Um, it's important to know that it's absolutely okay to add a green in or a, or a purple 
Um, those are the fruits or the veggies. Um, you don't want to feel hungry because uh, there, there's less chance of success if you're feeling hungry because you're going to be like, whatever, this doesn't work for me. I don't want to feel starving. And also, you want your metabolism to keep going and you don't want your body to go into storage mode. And if you're feeling hungry, um, your body is going to go into storage mode and you're not going to be burning cal calories as efficiently. Um, it's also really important to make sure that you get all your containers in. And that can be challenging, um, especially if you're not used to eating um, very much throughout the day. And so you're going to want to make sure that you're making a plan to get all those co containers in. And I will be posting some videos from Autumn Calabrese, um, one of the Beachbody trainers, and she talks about uh, tips and getting all your containers in. So those are the important things to start out with. I am always here for questions, so please, please feel free to text me, call me, message me on Facebook, send me an email, whatever way is easiest for you, reach out to me, and I'll also be reaching out to you to make sure that you're on track and everything's making sense. But please do feel free to reach out at any time. I'm always happy to answer questions. So again, I'm just so excited, and thanks for making this investment in yourself.